Thank you very much for joining me on this Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. All eyes on this, this tropical wave coming off. I am not, though, seeing crazy signs of development uh, out there. I know it's getting splashed across YouTube as a potential hurricane and uh, that sort of thing in social media. I'm not seeing any crazy signs of development. I want to show you why. It is one to watch, as I was talking about in yesterday's video. But again, it's a strong tropical wave, plenty of time to monitor it. Let me dive right into it. This is the European model, and I believe this has a better handle on it. I know this map's a little bit crazy, but here's the wave here right there, coast of Africa. We have here, this is the Caribbean right through here. Here's Florida, for example, okay? So I know that may be a little difficult to see, but let me track this wave with you. So the wave is here. This is today. Now, as we go out in time, I'm going to show you the reasons why it could develop and some of the reasons why, why it may have some issues developing. So here's the Caribbean. Here's Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados right here. So I'll keep my hand there and let me stop the clock here. This is as we get into Thursday night. So Thursday night, you can see an area of low pressure. So we've got some sort of system out here most likely not classified at this point. But again, watching this strong tropical wave at this point, by the end of the week, it is still in the central Atlantic. So here's the Caribbean. The European model, which usually does a pretty good job, not all the time, but does a pretty good job uh, on uh, tropical systems, it shows this strong tropical wave moving in, but no signs of crazy development. Then as we get toward, let me take you out in time, this is by the time we get into Sunday morning. So again, here's the Caribbean, and let me paint this on here. Here's that tropical wave somewhere in here. Not showing signs at this point that it's even a tropical storm or a tropical depression. So the European model has this marching across as a strong tropical wave, not blowing up into this crazy system. Then going forward, it would have it move into the Caribbean right about here, this would be the time we get into next week, a week from today. So tons of time to watch it. If it develops, doesn't develop, plenty of time to watch it. But the European model has this as more of a rainmaker for the Eastern Caribbean and then eventually sliding through, but not not as a classified system. I want to get into why in just a second. Now, let me contrast that, compare that with the American model. Now, the American model, as I was cautioning yesterday, it always likes to blow things up a little bit more so uh, over time, kind of makes things a little bit stronger than they typically do in real life or what eventually does happen. So here's the uh, Caribbean here. Now, this is going out in time. And let me stop the clock here. This is by the end of the week, by Friday. Still a tropical wave at this point point, but a little bit of a healthier one. Again, the American model uh, shows this becoming more of a tropical depression or a tropical storm. So here we are in the Caribbean going out of time again, taking you into the weekend. This is by Sunday into Monday as we work our way into early next week. At this point, a healthy tropical wave. One thing of note Yesterday, when I was showing you this model, it had it as a tropical storm already. So it's starting to back off a little bit. It's starting to not see this as strong. But as we get down the road a week from today, while the uh, uh, European model is faster and kind of has some rain in the Eastern Caribbean as a non-classified system, this still has it trying to spin up into a tropi tropical depression or a tropical storm by the time we get into next week and then kind of curving a little bit more up toward the Northwest. So wait and see, but the trend on the American model has been weakening. It's been showing some weakening. So what's going on here? So let me break it down. The American model still overall showing a system that's trying to get stronger and more organized into a tropical storm. And again, a slower system. The European model shows a weaker system or just not even a classified system and faster, bringing some rain into the Caribbean by about Tuesday of next week. The European model is more likely, and the American model has been trending over the last 24 hours a little bit more toward the European model. That should raise some eyebrows that maybe the European model has a good handle on it. Now, I mentioned I've been doing this for, for decades, and I don't just look at the models. I look at the atmospheric conditions and why a model may be showing one thing versus another. Well, this is what's going on. This is a snapshot of the mid-levels of the atmosphere, so above our heads. And this orangey shading you're seeing here, this is showing a lot of dry air. So what's happening is, as this comes off, there's a lot of dust in here as well, but a lot of dry air. The dry air is going to uh, cause this uh, difficulty to develop, which is a good thing. We don't want these things to blow up. I know a lot of us need the rain. We'll take rain uh, from this point from uh, many systems, but we don't need a major storm. I don't root for hurricanes or anything like this. So because of this dry air, 
even if this does try to develop, it'll be slow in doing so. So again, the European model looks a little bit more likely. Now, we're going to be doing this a lot. There's going to be these strong waves moving off. It's almost August. August, September, and October, that is when we get 84% of all named systems. That's the peak of the season. So we expect it to get more and more active as we go forward. Now we have Don out there. I'll get into Don in a second, which is a tropical storm. The next name on the list, Emily. We'll see if this wave becomes Emily. Maybe, maybe not. Franklin and Gert after that. Let me swing back here real quickly. Here's Hawaii. I want to jump over to the Central Pacific. Don't want to leave anyone hanging on this because I've been tracking this with you and you've been tracking it uh, with me over the last few days. Again, still a tropical storm, a much weaker tropical storm, but that is going to be, bring rain starting especially late today, tonight, into tomorrow's uh, in Hawaii as expected. As far as tropical storm conditions, about a 40% chance of some tropical storm conditions on the southern end of the Big Island. Again, it's a diminishing system. The biggest threat will be the higher seas, dangerous seas, and some of the flooding, especially in the central and southern portions of Hawaii over the next couple days. Back into the eastern Pacific, a little bit of a flare up here. This may develop. This is moving away from Mexico, moving away from the Baja. Now, as we work our way back here, here's the Caribbean. Here's uh, Florida, here are the Bahamas, here's Bermuda, here's Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, my friends in Jamaica right here. This spin here, kind of a shell of itself, uh, not a lot of action with it, but that is Tropical Storm Don. It has been spinning out there for days and days, and again, it's going to continue to do so, just take a loop, and then eventually work its way into even cooler water. So that thing is out there. It'll be out there for days and days. Uh, concern for shipping uh, concerns, but again, they're able to get around that. Uh, no threat to land at this time. All right, back into the Caribbean. It has been active. We had some rain and storms last night and this morning, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados. We had some thunderstorms. I was tracking some of those around uh, 2, 3, 4 in the morning, and you see as the new tropical wave starts to come in, this is not the one off the coast of Africa, but this new tropical wave comes in, rain chance goes up. It's also been a little more active, and I was mentioning this over toward the, I was mentioning this yesterday, Cayman Islands islands near Jamaica, a little bit of a swirl over here, bringing in some of the scattered rain and storms to the Dominican Republic, for example, and parts of Haiti. So Jamaica as well, Cuba, Cayman Islands, right in here, we do have that chance of scattered storms for today. Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, a few, not as much in Belize. And again, of course, watching here, St. Lucia, Barbados, uh, Martinique, Dominica, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Northern Guyana, Northern Venezuela with this new tropical wave moving in. We're going to continue with those scattered showers and storms. This is tomorrow. There's that tropical wave that arrives. Again, this is not the one off the coast of Africa. I know I'm repeating myself, but I want to be very clear about this. This is one that is just moving in uh, today into tomorrow. Chance of rain around as we work our way toward Trinidad, uh, St. Vincent of the Grenadines tomorrow. ABC Islands, not a lot again, uh, mainly on the dry side. So this is later on our Wednesday. Now I want to go from Wednesday uh, into uh, Thursday. And you see again some spotty showers here in the Western Caribbean back into Central America, but still the elevated chance of rain on a Thursday in the southeastern Caribbean because of that tropical wave. And you can see it reflected here. Some spotty showers the next two days, uh, for example, in Dominica. And we swing back towards St. Lucia, scattered showers and storms today and tomorrow with that tropical wave, about a 50% chance. Barbados, a 60% chance today, which has already panned out. We had some rain and storms overnight, some this morning, and a 50% chance for tomorrow. Trinidad and Tobago, the next three days, it stays elevated. It. Not all day stuff. We'll have some isolated flooding. I'll watch that again, especially in the southern end of uh, Trinidad. I'll keep an eye on that, but an elevated chance of rain the next three days. Grenada, same thing. Scattered showers and storms with that tropical wave at times. We'll see a decent amount. We could get some spots around 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. Some spots a little bit more that can lead to the isolated flooding, and that includes St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance tomorrow, 60%. On the flip side, Aruba, we are once again too dry. Rain chance about 10%. Curacao, about a 20% chance. Same thing in Bonaire. Guyana, again, northern zones, a better chance. It's not for all of us. Suriname, again, most of the action staying to the north. Belize, 20% chance today, a 40% chance tomorrow, picking up a little bit. 
By Thursday, we'll see a few scattered showers and storms in Belize. Costa Rica, scattered showers and storms the next two to three days. And in Jamaica, again, a little bump later today. I showed you some of the unsettled weather around for us in Jamaica. We have the daytime heating around that will help trigger scattered showers and storms today. And we'll do that again through the Cayman Islands with about a 40% chance today. 50% chance in Haiti. It's already been more active over toward Jacmel on the south side. Uh, Dominican Republic, a 60% chance of rain and storms. Isolated flooding with a few of the storms today. Puerto Rico, about a 50% chance today. Then trending drier, only a 20% chance tomorrow. An isolated 30% chance for the U.S. Virgin Islands and the British Virgin Islands. Back through the Bahamas, rain chance 40% today. We've already had some rain parts of the central Bahamas and northern Bahamas with some of the batches of rain that have come off of Florida. Turks and Caicos, a 30% chance, isolated chance over the next few days. St. Kitts and Nevis for us over toward Montserrat, a 40% chance today, a 30% chance tomorrow. In Guadeloupe and uh, Martinique, again, right on the edge of the tropical wave. So the next two days, scattered showers and storms. In Guilla, a 30% chance today, tomorrow, 20% chance on Thursday. Same thing as we work our way into Antigua and Barbuda, and about a 30% chance St. Martin, Saba, and Stasia. So again, lots to cover out there. That tropical wave off the coast of Africa, fighting the dry air, which is a good thing. I'm tracking that for you. Calvin, spelled that wrong, need to drop the G. Calvin brings the rain and some flooding to parts of Hawaii. We've got Don spitting out there in the North Atlantic for days and days, and I'll continue to monitor that, and I'll monitor what's going on with these tropical waves moving in, and stronger tropical waves that will be coming off. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing, and I hope you have a wonderful day ahead.